Yo, what's up guys, how it's going? Welcome to Code In Board. In this video, I'm going to show you how to push your Intel IJ project to your GitHub repository. Let's start. Before going to the video, make sure to subscribe for Code In Board and turn on the bell icon to get more updates in the future. This is my Intel IJ project. This is a simple Node.js application. Now I'm going to push this project to my GitHub repository. This is my GitHub account. You have to log in to your GitHub account. And nextly, I am going to create a repository. Here is a create repository button. Or else you can click on this profile icon and select your repositories. There is no any repositories because this is the newly created coding bot GitHub account. Now I am going to create a new repository. Click on this new button and give a name to the repository. I am giving like docker node.js and you can give a description or select whatever the option public or private repository i'm selecting public and read me file it's optional now we can create a new repository then you have to copy this repository link click on this code option and copy this link there are so many options https shh and github cli i'm using https method copy this minimize it and now i'm in my intel ij ide in this case you can go to git and enable version control in here in this case i have enabled version control because so that the option is not appearing in here if you if are using um, github first time go to git and there will be option named enable version control click on that option after running that option, go to your project view. In here, select the project view and right click on this project and go to git. And go to the manage remote section. In this case, here is a plus icon. Click on this plus icon and paste the copied URL in here by using control V. Just click on OK. Just click on OK right now we have to do the steps to push our code to the remote repository firstly i am going to add my changes to the version controlling system adding files to vcs or else you can use the command git add space dot this is the command to add all the changes to the version controlling system Now we can go again to the git option and you have to commit directory or else you can use the command instead of that commit directory now we have to give a commit message i'm giving adding files click on this commit or commit and post i'm going to click on commit all the files are committed now I'm going to show you something special thing. In this case, you can see there is a gitigno file. By using a gitigno file, it is rejecting these files by adding to our remote repository. We don't need node modules and .tnv file in Node.js applications. Node modules files fold is uh, size than more than 200 MBs, so that we are not going to add it to our remote repository. By using uh, the node modules and .tnv inside of a gitigno file we can ignore these things make sure to add a gitigno if you have ones right now go back again to the project view right click on it go to git and select the push option now we can select the commit message or else you can use the command inside this terminal but i'm going to use these things because it is simple and easy to understand for a beginner click on this push option After click on this push option, you have to log in via GitHub, log into a GitHub account, log in via GitHub or use token. I am going to use token. In this case, we have to add a token. Now click on this generate option and it is opening inside the browser, default browser. Inside of default browser, now I again have to log in because of that I am going to use this URL inside of my Chrome browser.
right now we can give a not i'm giving like coding bot docker node.js you can give a message or a not it is generate into a token click on this generate token option this is the token now we can copy this one by click on this copy option copy it minimize it and go again to this window and paste the token which we have copied and click on this login button it is authenticating make sure to give the internet connection to your pc you can see push master to new branch let's go to the repository we can close this go to the repository and just refresh it inside master branch you can see our changes are in here our files are in here you can select whatever the branch you need to commit the changes whatever the branch you need to push the changes you can select the branch you can create a new branch in this case i have pushed my files to the master branch that's how we use the use token method to add my intel ij project to a github repository i think you got the idea i think you learned something make sure to subscribe for coding bot and put a thumbs up for this video and share this video to your batchmates i will meet you soon in the next video bye guys